I would say my normal day is just, you know, doing housewife things and mom things. I'm, I'm trying to treat my cancer um, as holistically as I can. So there's things that, you know, I try to get in every day. That day, my mom had called me to say that she has had something from the MRI. Uh, and so obviously, there's a lot of concern there. And I didn't even really know, you know, what, what, what it was or what was going on. I just knew it was very, you know, a big issue. It's a terminal cancer, and then there's, there's a certain life expectancy. They kind of tell you what they think it is, and it's not, and it's not very long. Either two to three years is the most common. I mean, I just try to be prayerful and ask God for strength every day. Thank him for my life. Thank him for this beautiful family I have here. I mean, I think in, in life when you have these challenges, you appreciate things a lot more. And some people maybe never have these issues and they don't understand the strength, the blessings of appreciation like I do today. I appreciate more things around me than I did before. I'm incredibly inspired by both of their strengths, my mom's, both, both their positive outlooks and, and faith as well. And she's, you know, the most important, important person in our lives. She's a wonderful person and she is a fighter. She's always a fighter. And she's the best mom I could ever have, so. This has really driven us way closer. Because of Cheryl, they, you know, I feel the closeness. I've definitely seen how you get closer as a family when all of it is going on. And even now, we're really close as a family. I've always been inspired, but I've take, taken it for granted, right? So, I mean, early on, I was, I was inspired by her beauty, per, inside and out. Now, in the last years, it's more strength than faith. She obviously sees the value in, in the research that, that goes into, you know, finding a cure for this cancer or, or any type of cancer. They already have a lot. They already do a lot. I'm sure if it wasn't for what I've had done so far, I probably would not be here. Um, I feel very strongly because this is super uncomfortable for me and I wouldn't be doing it if it wasn't something that it needs to be done. All this different brain power is going behind technology and you know, cancer research or any other kinds of disease um, or terminal illness research is so important and it's going to exponentially continue to get better and better. So I mean that's, you know, that's provides some, some hope. With like technology growing so fast now, I do believe that they will find a cure. I hope they find a cure.